No chill, no filter. <laughs>
I tried to be a judge, you know what I'm saying? Because once again, ain't no bias. Let's do this first. Um, I went and checked out. I, I checked out the, the battle with Mike G um, and J Major in its entirety. Of course, Mike G won that. I don't see how they... I don't know what they're talking about as far as I don't know what the stipulations were or whatever, but um, Mike G, I got you winning that. Um, but the, the, the battle Saturday... Um, at the Food for Thought situation, man, I do believe that's the name of it. I didn't see it. It's the Heat Rock event. My man T. Lou, Point Gods, had Point Goddesses in the house. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Maya and uh, um, the, the Arab Queen, something like that. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. But in any event, um, P. Jesus, I mean, for real, for real, man, I had I had P. Jesus won. Both of y'all got off on two. But I edged it over to P. Jesus, and P. Jesus gave it away in the third round, okay? So, bottom line, I got P. Jesus winning that 2-1. But you know what? Y'all got the footage dropping soon. Y'all can go ahead and make y'all own, you know, y'all can make y'all own, have your own judgment on that. But that's just me personally. A lot of people in the crowd said P. Jesus won. A lot of people in the crowd said Mike G won. But the judges said Mike G won. And one thing about that that I really don't agree with, um... You can't just change up judges at the end of the battle. I mean, y'all got to keep the stipulations, the stipulations. Y'all can't do that. And honestly, it, 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 it me, myself, man, I, I really can't speak on that. I'm not going to speak on that. You know what I'm saying? They resolved the situation, which is good. Like, gentlemen, I'm glad they did that. But for real, for real, I don't agree with what happened, man. Um, if y'all going to have three judges, those three judges, whatever the case, if, if, if y'all feel that this man was too drunk or whatever the case, y'all should have made that judgment at the, at the beginning of the battle. And then he wouldn't have been able to, you know what I'm saying, judge the battle at all. Y'all should have had somebody there. And P. Jesus, I told you, fam, I'm, I'm, I am I'm, mean, let me judge the battle. I told you this. Look, I'm not going to be biased, man. You know what I'm saying? Bars is bars. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know what the, once again, stipulations, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what these guys were thinking. I don't know what was on their mind. I don't know what, what was the reason for the, for the outcome. But... The judges said what it is that they said, but I told you, let me judge. You know what I'm saying? You probably would have got that money. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Once again, Mike G, you the young homie, man. I appreciate everything you do. You know what I'm saying? You coming up, you handling your business. But me, I looked at that, man, and I and trust me, I've looked at the footage three and four times. I ain't got the whole battle, but I got enough. I always cut it off just letting y'all know when I do my, my highlight reels and stuff like that, I cut off at the at the at the coldest haymaker. Sometimes there are none, so I just cut off. You know what I mean? So, you know, it, it kinda happened like that a couple times. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, it is what it is. Wasn't a classic battle, but it definitely has showed me that P. Jesus is back in rare form, man. He didn't choke until the third round. First two rounds, he got all the way off, man. Even got up in my man's sister face and... But let's say he get mad, right? And this nigga want to actually fight? Well, they going to book me for two batteries. Because after I smash dog, I'm going to give his sister Maya the rights. get it twisted man Mike G ain't nowhere near ass it's just that you know I, I was I was expecting a little bit more and the person who brought more was P Jesus that's my why okay not to mention P Jesus kind of like put all the babies in the pen and started spoon feeding them you know what I'm saying and I definitely liked it that so yeah I gave that to P Jesus um the battle with uh, the kid from, uh, and he ain't a kid, he's an OG, G-Soldier. G-Soldier, um, G-Soldier had battled Nelly Nell. Um, I mean... Oh, 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 no point, okay. <laughs> Even off the genuine, it showed up here, the same OG. Don't do that. Have you been smoking weed? Oh, yeah. Not Nails is best performance you know what i'm saying but i i had to if i had to give it to somebody and it's definitely a give 
um, I have to give it to G Soldier because he definitely came prepared and he went all the way through his round. But as far as bars is concerned, Nails took that. I mean, you know, call it how you wanna how you how you wanna call it. Call it how you see it. Um, the the footage is in good hands. My man Catboy Hurt, shout out to my dude Catboy Hurt and his little brother. Um, he gonna be definitely bringing y'all the, the the decent footage. You know what I'm saying? So y'all gonna see exactly what had happened with that. Um, Shadow the Serious and G A Cook a Brick. Um, let's do this right fast, man. Um, everybody keep every time I turn around. Yeah, man. G E, you got put in the trunk. G E trunk this. G E trunk that. Okay, let's go ahead and kill it right now. So the next time somebody say anything about GE being in the trunk, they just reach it. Okay, I heard it from the horse's mouth, and this is what he had to say. I put nobody. He let, he let the whole world know. No criminal acts. He let the whole world know. Hey, nobody in the trunk. They kill that Hey, it's, it's an urban legend. That's all it is. It's, it's an urban myth. legend. Y'all just heard it. Y'all just heard it from the horse's mouth. And no. Now y'all just heard the man. The man said it's a myth, okay? I even said, okay, so it's an urban legend. But then, you know, you got the youngins in the house, and, you know, Showstopper was like... It ain't, no, nah, that shit ain't confirmed unless G.E. say otherwise. G.E. ain't say shit yet, so... And you know what? Me, myself, I'm, I'm on some... Look, man, calm down. And you know what? I'm gonna keep it real. You know, um, I, I, I had asked G.E. personally. I asked him. Um, I, I was like... I was like, did you get put in the trunk? And um, he, he was like, no. So he, he answered it. He, he said, he said no. So uh, it didn't happen, all right? So Shadow the Serious versus G.A. Cooker Brick. I gave that to Shadow, man. I think Shadow came with just a little bit more punching than his. Um, he definitely took care of his business, man. I appreciate everything that both of them brothers did, man, as far as bars is concerned. But I had to get that to Shadow, man. Um, Shadow. I don't know, I don't know, man, maybe you have to kind of like work on your, um, maybe you should do some cardio or something, because it just seems like you keep running out of breath, man, you know what I'm saying, your delivery, it takes away from your delivery, and it definitely takes away from your punches, man, you can't, you can't keep, you know, you, you got me captivated, you got me, but when you run out of breath, like, that throws me off, man, that, that really throws me off, and I'm pretty sure it throws off the vibe of, you know what I'm saying, your bars and what it is that you're trying to explain and the point that you're trying to get across. You got to do something about that, fam. Take deeper breaths. I don't know what the case is, but like the like the big dogs had told you when they saw your first battle with PGs, they let you know, man, your delivery, that's, that's, that's a big part of your delivery, man, is bringing it. You know what I'm saying? You got to bring it without hindrance and and you with the i don't know if you know maybe you know some people do have like asthmatic problems and stuff like that and that is trust me no pun intended fam but you know in that situation man you really have to start i don't know maybe get on a treadmill man put down them blunts every now and again you know you know expand your lung capacity you feel me um yeah but in any event man you know work on work on that fam work on that once you work on that dog you will definitely have something cracking you know what i'm saying you'll be all good um other than that fam kudos to you brother congratulations to both of y'all man both of you brothers showed up both of y'all showed out i just gave it to shadow that's that's my no chill no filter tv situation on that um my, my judgment on that um killer b killer b killer b you know a lot of people thought that you know and, and and i can honestly say you know what there is some sort of gas but you need gas for fire right i mean the more gas the more fire right but in any event man it was more fire than gas with killer b and he didn't battle a chump bricks Belby came to handle his business man and he did and i'm talking about hey you, you see you see those yes Look, I'm going to put it to you like this here. Both of them dudes left Earth, but Killer B hit Mars first. I done said it before and I'll say it again. Both of them dudes left Earth, but Killer B hit Mars first. That's all it was. You know what I'm saying? It, it wasn't due to, to lackluster performance or, or lack of bars or none of that, man. Both of them dudes got off. I definitely appreciate it everything that they did, you know what I'm saying, congratulations to both of you brothers, but I gave that to Killer B, and hey, once again, man, dude, I, 
I've been looking over the footage, man, and it was just certain things that you were saying that really had me like, man, yeah, brother, you, and, and you need to understand something. Rick's Belvy is top tier material. I don't know if he is on top tier yet or whatever, but he can definitely, he can definitely, I feel he can bang with the best of them. Same thing with my young homie Killer B, man. Killer B, yeah, fam, I got you, man. You already know, man. You already, no till, no filter TV, supported and approved, brother. Now, moving all the way on, fast forwarding. Fast forwarding to the AOW Dungeon. Once again, if you haven't already, y'all need to go check out that. The Overground, it's the Overground show with, and it was hosted by G. Gray, Sparks, and Saint, like I said. Um, had, had the special guest was Shadow and my young homie Rich Porter. Hey, Rich Porter, he headed for top tier also. I like that little dude, he cold. Um, so, speaking on that battle, we had Grams. Grams, <laughs> Grams and Showstopper. Let me just stop for a second. Showstopper. I've seen Showstopper and 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 Killer B battle collectively as a two on two. I think they are better like by themselves on their own because I, I I mean Killer B and Showstopper together are man they dope battlers. But when I saw um, Killer B. By himself, stand alone against Briggs Belvy and how he held his own, man. He definitely took care of his business. And I think that is something that that is something that definitely should be done a little bit more often. Killer B, start battling on your own, man. Start having booking single battles, man, with you versus a single opponent. Same thing with Showstopper. Showstopper, man, you dope, man. Yes, you dope. Although, you know what I'm saying, one of the reasons why I gave it to Grams is because of Grams did have performance, he had punch, he had bars, he had everything. But the best thing about it is the professionalism of the man. It wasn't no talking through your rounds and talking crazy when you're hitting him with them haymakers. Dude, them haymakers that, that he was hitting you with was pretty hard too, but you came back on a rebuttal in the rap. You know what I'm saying? And that was, that was tight. I, I saw that, man. And not to mention, I got to mention this, Grams. Good rappers, is that it's an acronym, right? Good rappers always make sense. I like that. That that was that was one of those things. And I already got your vlog up, so you should be going to check that out. I'ma remember that. That's what grams mean. Um, other than that, once again, man, I got the ducks out the way, so I ain't got the I ain't gotta do that again. So you know what I'm saying? Um all those who duck, man, y'all got some susplaining to do. Um, I'm not going to mention it again, but once again, this has been a recap. No chill, no filter TV. MC Ron Ski, your big homie, and that's been my recap for the Food for Thought Heat Rock Battle. Shout out T. Lou. Shout out Overground Show. Shout out me. Shout out Mr. Circle City. My man PDX Ocean Views. You know what I'm saying? The the, the youngins, everybody that's doing their thing on this battle rap thing. Shout out to everybody that came out and supported yesterday. And um, I'm hoping everybody made it home safe, man, and everybody watching this properly and without without any hindrances, you know what I'm saying, from these demons out here, man. Y'all got to understand something, man. We got to support each other a little bit more. With that being said, it's a big homie MC Ryan Ski. 